Hello everyone, welcome to the CES Revelation. In this video, you will learn how to use the SQL delete statement to remove one or more rows in a table. Um, you must know that the delete statement removes one or more rows in a table, but it does it permanently. And the syntax of the delete statement is as follows. So we need the delete command and then from table name. So here, this is called a delete statement, uh, which is technically going to delete a set of rows from a specific table. Uh, so you need to specify the table name from which you're deleting all the rows. Now there's another part to this uh, statement, which is the where clause. In the where clause, you add a condition. And the condition here is based on which we're going to decide what rows really to delete. So you need to supply a condition here that must be satisfied in order for that row to be selected for deletion. Um, now, I must uh, warn you that if you omit this where clause and just say delete from table name, this means that it's going to be all the rows uh, that will be deleted from that table. So all the rows in that table will be deleted because you have not decided on one exactly what rows exactly you're going to be deleting so you left it basically you ordering um, your D D dbms to simply delete all the rows from that table name so suppose that this is the table that uh, we're using for this task this is a projects table and it has four columns and four rows uh, below in the description you'll find the code to create this table so if you want to try this out but let's simply for example, we wanted to delete, um, let's say like the payroll system row, just because we don't have a project manager for that. So that row, we're just going to get rid of it. So we don't want that project in our project stable anymore. So following the same syntax here is just that we're gonna say delete from, and the table name is projects. However, we need to supply a condition based on which we're going to delete uh, that specific row. So um, I want to tell you also that project code is actually a primary key of this table, which means that every single row is going to be unique for that specific column. So all the values for project codes will be all unique for every single row. So that means if I say 74, I'm talking about a specific row in this table and there are no duplicates for that. So if I simply say where project code is equal to 74, I'm basically saying uh, I'd like to delete all the rows from projects, but the ones that satisfy this condition. And if I just look through the list of rows here, I see that only one row satisfies that condition that has a project code 74. So let's run this. And notice that it says project or statement uh, processed. Now, if I want to confirm that that row has been deleted, let me simply just uh, retrieve all the rows again from the table. And there you have it. So now that row is gone. So it's deleted just because I ran this delete statement. Now I'm going to show you what I warned you, uh, you know, of earlier, which is basically by omitting this where clause, that means just having a delete uh, but not specifying a condition based on which deleting. So if I run that, uh, of course, it's going to be saying that statement is processed. But if I try to select everything from projects, it's now telling me no data found. It's just because, I mean, the table is there, but there is no rows in there. And that's because we have deleted all the rows here because we haven't specified a specific row, uh, a specific condition based on which uh, we're going to be deleting. So this is just a quick uh, overview of the delete statement. Uh, so next time I will be posting another video that's going to explore more on this delete uh, statement and include more options, more features, and uh, I'll see you then. Take care.